reaching into my Pee Louise box. The next thing that I'm pulling out is so cute as well. Oh, every single time. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, the cutest subscription box finally came in the mail and she is massive. Look at how beautiful this box is. It is absolutely stunning and it's beautiful on like all sides. Every single side is just absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a postcard and it says, P. Louise, all of us are a little fragile, babe. Spread your wings and fly. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? This is the most beautiful subscription box literally on the planet. I'm just excited to get into this. P. Louise, budget box is that girl. Her packaging is always so beautiful. And then the products work really well. It's not just like you're paying for the outside packaging to just be beautiful and then the product be trash. The product is good. The packaging is good. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into, this is February's budget box. Cause you know, since it's in the UK, we get the box after the fact. Let me see if this will be satisfying. <laughs> Not as satisfying as I was hoping, but still pretty satisfying. When I open her up, this is what she looks like. One thing that I will say I don't particularly like about the P. Louise is that she doesn't bubble wrap. Like where's the bubble wrap? Everything is just kind of floating willy nilly. And it's crazy because this is coming all the way from the UK. So there's a lot of shipping hands that put hands on this package. And we know how the mailman likes to do our packages. He likes to fling them. I am a little bit upset about that. I really wish that they would put some bubble wrap over their products just to protect them a little bit or maybe some pack of peanuts okay get you some pack of peanuts it's biodegradable just like ice cream beauty do something like that just some form of security for our boxes so nothing arrives broken see last time one of my products did arrive broken it wasn't so broken to the point where i couldn't use it but it's still like you know i pay all this money for it to get here i pay all this money for the product i want all of my things to be intact the first thing that i'm pulling out is by p louis skin and this is the pretty Wait, what is this? Plump me pretty. <laughs> Confidence in your skin means confidence within. She has some of the cutest little sayings on her packaging. Like it always makes me feel good. She gives me an experience when I open her packaging and it has all these beautiful sayings on it and everything is just aesthetically pleasing. And this is a pineapple plumping moisturizer. And this is what the packaging is looking like. See what I mean? Just gorgeous from every single angle. I bet the bottom is still, the bottom is even pretty. Like bruh, get in into it. This is what it looks like with all the plastic off. Very cute. Isn't that just gorgeous? This is so cute. This has to be the cutest moisturizer that I own. Look at how beautiful that is. Anything else, baby girl? Look at how beautiful that is. And y'all, look at the top. Tell me this isn't the cutest moisturizer you've ever seen, like in your entire life. This is gonna look so beautiful on my vanity. That looks delicious. It smells like pineapple. Well, I'm not the biggest fan of like a pineapple scent, but it doesn't smell bad. But this is what it looks like. It looks very soft. I'm just get a little bit to see. She's very creamy. Let's see, hopefully she goes into the skin beautifully. It is a little bit sticky, but maybe the sticky, sticky. Maybe the stickiness will kind of go away after a little bit of time. I don't hate the pineapple smell, it's just not my go-to. This is absolutely amazing. Very happy to have her. And I just think this is so cute. Oh, so pretty, girly. Ah. I swear, when I buy my dream vanity, she gonna be right up on there. Along with this beautiful, beautiful baby right here. Reaching into my P. Louise box. The next thing that I'm pulling out is so cute as well. Ugh. And this is the I'm So Jelly Watermelon Jelly Makeup Remover. Isn't that just so beautiful? Aesthetically pleasing, okay? This is what I'm talking about when I say the packaging gives you an experience. <clears throat> She's so cute. All her little noises. She farted. Hopefully I caught it on camera. Her poots are so cute. This is what it looks like with all the plastic off. Absolutely stunning. And this is just like a makeup remover. Hopefully it don't burn my eyes like that last makeup remover, that dang plastic coconut. Maybe I'm allergic to coconut. Maybe that's what it is. When you're opening it up, this is what she looks like. You know what? This actually smells like something I've smelled before. 
It's giving Bath and Body Works. I don't know, but it smells like something that I've had from Bath and Body Works. This is what she looks like. I don't know how I feel about a pink makeup remover. I'm not gonna rub this into my skin, you know, like I do cleansers. I just don't feel like running and going to the bathroom and cleaning up and then da 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 da, -da coming back. We're gonna definitely put this to the test with another super extra skincare routine that you really shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do anyways. Next time I do one of those, we're gonna bust this bad boy out and see what she's working with. I did get a little bit on my finger. It looks like Pepto Bismol. That's what it looks like. It looks like Pepto Bismol and smells like Bath and Body Works. Reaching into my loot box. The next thing I'm pulling out is something that I'm gonna throw in the giveaway. Um, and this is the P. Louise Lashes Gaze for Days. Gaze with a Z. And these are reusable up to 20 times. Ooh, so one of y'all are gonna get a really, one of y'all are gonna get a really nice pair of eyelashes. I do not wear eyelashes. I prefer to do my own natural eyes, eyes, eyelashes, because I don't like the stress of worrying about if my eyelashes are lifting or not. It's just, it's not for me. So I will be throwing these in a giveaway so that one of y'all lovely ladies or gentlemen, you know, will get these beautiful pair of lashes that you can add to your collection and use up to 20 times. Very nice for one of y'all, not for me. Actually, let me pull this one out too. Again, going into the giveaway, and this is another pair of eyelashes. This one is called One Last Love. Very pretty. Maybe one of these days I'll put lashes on for y'all and then take them off immediately. I'll think about it, okay? I'm gonna think about it. The next thing that I'm pulling out is the P. Louise Skin. So I guess this box is just a lot of skincare. And this is the In Love With Me. Again, confidence in your skin means confidence within. I love that. That's so precious. That's such a precious statement. And this is the Water Malone, and I'm guessing this is a cleanser, but it's not like any other cleanser. It comes with a cute little heart-shaped brush, so you can just kind of apply it to your skin as you go. And then also, this will like kind of help clean your skin, and this is the favorite part. Ah! So this is what the full product is looking like. Super freaking adorable. Babies grow up so fast. She used to be this little and now she's huge. All right, and this is what she looks like with all the plastics off. It comes with, how do you get this off? Oh, okay, that's so cute. So that your brush doesn't get, ooh. I was not expecting that. I'll, I'll get to that later. This is so cute so that you can cover it up. That way it doesn't get exposed to like a bunch of like debris and disgustingness. So you can like kind of put that on over it. But y'all, look at this brush. That is like little tiny little silicones. That is so much fun and it feels really good. I'm not even gonna lie. I could sit here like this for days, cause it's just like little silicones. You see that? I thought those were bristles when I was looking at it from the outside, but no, it's little, little tiny silicones. Very, very cute. And so I guess you just kind of and then use this to rub it into your skin so that you get an, use this to like rub this into your skin. So you can, take three. Use this to kind of like rub it into your skin so that everything gets nice and clean. So we will definitely be trying this out in the next super extra skincare routine that you really shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do anyways because I'm filming. But I might do one of those tonight. We'll see. I got a lot of like new products, so we might, we might try her out tonight. Get this off my face. The next thing that I'm pulling out is also super adorable. And this is the Make It Melt Mango Makeup Melter. I love mango. Mango is so delicious. Isn't that cute? This reminds me of that Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream. It has the same kind of style for packaging. I think that is so pretty. I need to move to the UK. I want to order their mystery boxes, but I've been trying to be more frugal. Me and Justin, we watched this guy. I think his name is Caleb, the auditor, and he had me in my feelings. I'm listening to him chew other people out about their finances and I'm sitting there with my tail between my legs like, dang, I need to revisit my finances. The way he was cutting into that girl. And I might do a reaction video to one of his videos because he is just, he is wildin'. He moving mad out here. But I wanted to get one of those mystery boxes, but I'm like, you know what, do I need it? I don't know if I need it, but I really, really want it. So I don't know, uh, the jury's still out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it. But this is what she looks like with all her plastic off of her. Okay, very cute, very girly. Ooh, this is a lot. How much product is this? This is gonna last forever. 4.76 ounces. That's a lot. And this is just like a balm to take your makeup off. Ooh, she feels really good. 
and it smells delicious. I'm doing a skincare routine tonight. I have to, okay? It has to happen because I got all this stuff right here for a skincare routine. My only thing is, am I supposed to use both of these? This is a makeup remover. This is a makeup melter. Do I use both? Maybe I use one and then the next time use the other and see if they work differently. I don't know. We'll figure it out tonight because <laughs> I'm definitely getting into that tonight. And the last item in here is actually kind of a repeat, but not really at the same time. This is the It's Giving Princess collection of lip oils. Last time we got our lip oils in this cute little box. This time we're getting some lip oils in this cute little box. I'm keeping the box. Again, we get three different like colors, I guess. And one of them is spoilt. <laughs> Spoilt Sparkle, Crystal Queen, and Tierra Topaz. Very cute names. So you get three lip oils. I already have two for myself, and then I have another one that's already in the giveaway. So I'm probably gonna do the same thing and put one of these in the giveaway. And I'm thinking since I did like the white sparkly one last time, I'm gonna go ahead and, ugh, I don't know what happened with those words. I'm gonna go ahead and put Spoilt Sparkle in the giveaway. I don't know if it's gonna be this giveaway. It might be the next giveaway. We're gonna, we're gonna put one of them in the giveaway. And this is what she looks like. I'm not gonna open her because ew. I'm not trying to go in your stuff. I am gonna open these ones. <laughs> Let's see. The first one is Crystal Queen. Now I've been using her lip oil. It's nice. Ooh, that one was really juicy. See that? I love that doe foot. Her lip oils are really nice. Everything smells so sweet and delicious. That's really pretty. I like the lip oils. They're just not as good as Cobb Cosmetics. Like Cobb Cosmetics is that girl when it comes to lip oil. But this is actually really nice. And you see those shimmers? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now let's see. The next one is Tierra Topaz. This packaging is just so cute. The way she just kind of plopped out. Now this one has a lot of pigment. Let's see if it goes down with the pigments. This is Tierra Topaz. This one has more purpley kind of flecks in it, whereas this one is more just gold and silver. This one has the gold, the silver, and then kind of like a purple. Those are really nice. I'm gonna just put these off to the side for another time. Cause like I said, I have so many lip oil products that it's gonna take me a while to kind of go through all of them. So I'm gonna put these off to the side for myself. And then this one is going in the giveaway along with the lashes. That was everything in my, I was gonna say mystery Ipsy for some reason, but that was everything in my P. Louise box. She was hitting. Okay, very skincare heavy. The only thing is I would have liked to have gotten a different kind of product other than these lip oils because we got lip oils last time. To get two different makeup removers, just not my favorite. I would have liked to have gotten two completely different items. Like last time, some of us got the bronzing palette and then others got the blusher palette. Those of us who got the bronzer palette, we could get the blusher palette. We all end up with the good stuff that we want. That would have been really nice. I would have traded both both of these items for that blusher palette. I'm just gonna be keeping a buck. I would have traded this and one, well, probably the jelly. I like a melting balm, so I probably would trade I probably would trade the jelly and the lip oils for that blusher palette. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm super excited to see what they have in store for the month of March. But you know, we won't be seeing that until mid, late April. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.